Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the hardest 1975 Chevy Caprice convertible in the world. When I say that, it's just my opinion because it's my car, it's my creation. You know, I had this car for about five years, I think, whatever, but um, you guys been asking for it and I never really vlogged my car, so I wanted to get to show you guys everything I did to this car. Since I had it, you know, it came a long way and still doing things to it, you know what I'm saying? So it's a car that you're always gonna keep updating, changing stuff, things keep breaking, just never, never a never ending story, but enough with that. Let's show, show you guys the car. Oh. First off, you know, we got this custom painted color that I couldn't even tell you myself what it is. It's kind of hard to show you guys the pearls. I don't know if you guys can see them. But Yes, this car has been painted four years ago and still looks good. Yeah guys, I couldn't tell you the name of the color. I know a lot of people ask me what's the name of the color. I don't know it, but it's uh, 75 Capri's, got the strip. You gotta have this. If you ain't got one of these, you pretty much got a base model. I don't say that towards no one, I'm just saying, you know, you gotta have this, you gotta have your bumper guards. I like the stock OG grill. I had a Tierra grill, my other 75. I wanted to go OG with this, so we kept it OG with the grill. Got the clear, kept the market lenses headlights, uh, reconditioned headlight bezels with the LEDs. So a lot of people always tell me that I need to get a 4G or a three-piece wheel. I'm a building guy. I like the lids. I got 26 by 9s in the front. Brush face, polished windows, polished lip, made by Intro. They're located in California. They hook me up. They always take care of me. I always call them. Make sure I'm alright. So I got a 26 by 9 in the front with a 275, 25, 26 tire. Got the upgraded wheel wood brakes, two piston. So um, a lot of a lot of people always tell me that how come I got a small brake? I mean, hey, that was pretty much my first upgrade on the car. Because I was did, uh, building it, putting it together, so. I never thought you needed this big brakes, you know, it just brakes, as long as the car stops. I mean, I know a couple people race cars with just stock brakes, so, hey, this will do the job. Don't need to be spending no $3,000, $4,000, $6,000 on brakes, man. These will do the job. They did the job so far, so, hey, I'm gonna leave those on for now. Got the new emblems replaced from my Gordo uh, on Instagram. Did the matching uh, bell line trim to match my interior. In the rear, we have 26 by 10 with a reverse lip. Now a three piece cannot do that. This is almost an eight inch lip in the rear. You do need to get your rear end shortened and some frame notching to fit it. But this looks good to me, you know. Three piece wheel, you can get a seven inch lip. I wanted to get the biggest lip out of a wheel, so this is a 26 by 10 with an almost 8 inch lip, reverse lip. Um, got the wheel wheel brakes in the back as well, you can't see them, because they're under there. This is the light that I like. And why do I like this light? Because they remind me of a box Chevy. You know, they got the three, even though all the other years got three, but this somehow it just reminds me of a box Chevy. I love box Chevy Euro lights, so this one maybe like a 75 with the tail lights in the front end. Never got it, gotta have that home for impact here. Some of y'all don't have it, it just has bolts on it. I like it with the rubber piece.
five, that's just the year I love. You know what I'm saying? I love everything from it. I like the front end, I like the back, the tail lights. It's just something about it, you know. I didn't I didn't go out in the media or ask or see what was the most desirable or expensive car. I went with what I like. And when I build this car together, I build it to my life, you know. Never kind of ask the crowd or the people. I didn't do this for acceptance. I did all this because it's what I wanted it. And this is this was my creation. You know, and this is what I like. I wanted to be different. So everything in this car is different. There's no other 75 Caprice compared to this one. Everything in this car has been cut. I mean, it's been um, it's been done for a couple years, so it's gonna show its tear and wear. You know what I'm saying? I travel a lot with the car. Uh, just got back from Florida Classics in Orlando. It's about a uh, 19 hour drive. So, yeah, I've been taking this car everywhere. You know, I love it. And I'll show you guys, see what you guys think. These are my custom door panels. We got design. Um, I wanted to do some diamond stitching on it, so we got the double stitching on it with the perf. Perf is when you got them dots and the leather. Pretty much how stock cars have it, or well, at least 75 Caprices. Uh, this envelope doesn't go on this, but I liked it. You know, I wanted to put a Caprice on the door, so I got this custom. Uh, not custom. It came in older ones. I'm not sure this is from a '72 or. 70 something but yeah they're from a 70s car i believe but yeah got the bottom half done from the doors got two six and a half on the doors speakers they don't want to go too crazy with them this is ultra leather um i wish you guys could feel it through the camera but you can't this is so soft it's a new leather material so well it was new back then now it's more popular um, gotta have the Sandman jewelry right here and this one as well. Um, new steel stripe right here. Oh, this is new. Got a little dent there from the hauler, you know. That's what happens when you let people haul your stuff. Uh, check out. Um, got all my window switches right here. This is the two front windows. This controls the locks. This controls the two rear windows. Got the fillet uh, shifter tilt. Y'all need that tilt. Got the shifter. We got the Dakota digital dash. Everything on this car is wrapped. The only thing that is not wrapped on this car is gonna be the steering column. So we got the custom kick panels, fillet hood. Opener, brake release billet. We got the billet pedals, braking gas, custom console, got a Pioneer, double din radio, billet cup holders. We got the chrome vents, 15 and a half billet steering wheel. Check out the details with the Caprice logo on it. Dash is wrapped, stitch. Got my boost controller here. Got my airflow. So got the seats. Got them reupholstered with new foam so we can make them nice and thick. Ultra leather, again with the perf, double diamond. everything wrapped now we go to the back custom speaker pods the window switch we get a lighter
gorgeous. The Porter Digital lights up white. That's the good. Feel it. Preach classic. Everything painted on this car, champs. Sandman jewelry. Here we got a 408 stroker motor, twin turbo on three turbos, custom piping, no wires. This thing has been done four years now. Engine bay painted, all polished. Hinges. This is before billet hinges were out. We got chrome hinges. We got that oil cast can, aluminum billet polish. We got the fancy trans dipstick billet aluminum valve covers. Mid rise holly intake. We got the dual horns coming into the cooler intake. I keep them turbos, the engine cool, you know. Like my radar cap, look at it. Nice and shiny. We got the high output alternator for the music. Gotta back that up. Chrome master cylinder. Check out that Sandman Elliot leaf catcher. Custom River Mirror, Caprice, in gray. Better view of the leaf catcher. Feel it. Attention, but at the front I do not have no batteries all my batteries are in the trunk so I relocate all my batteries in the back um, custom trunk we got two 12 crossfire C5s fake Caprice emblem I just love that emblem trunk underneath painted
Check this out guys. Got this drawing of Chip Foos. If y'all know who Chip Foos is, one of the guys that draws cars, does a lot of uh, builds. Um, he drew this car back in the day. This is my old white 75 Caprice convertible. Went to an open house for MAT and my car was there as a model. So he drew it. See the name right there. Cool ride. Chip Foods, that's his signature. Probably the first dome that Chip Foods ever did a drawing on. It's pretty cool. The car was painted. And it was all redone. Gotta paint it. Outrageous Daytona Beach. I was featuring the magazine Rise. Came out in the front cover back in the day. Had a Tierra grill, 30 inch dove floaters, banditos, custom guts to match the paint, small block Chevy, custom inside, speaker pods. Them L7 kickers. Twenty fourteen. Check out all the trophies. Got a couple plaques. First place. A little bit of everything. So this car stuff ain't new to me. Been doing this for a couple years now, ever since high school. We just get better and better at it. Trophy's tall as me. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my 1975 Chevy Caprice convertible, fully custom. You guys make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. I'll be selling cars, old school. And this video ain't made towards no one or for no one to really talk back or any of that stuff. This is just motivation that when building a car, you gotta do it out of your likes out of your heart you know you this car right here to me has so much sweat anger money time headaches everything but when i see it it's my trophy it tells me and shows me that i accomplished it you know and that i know that there's not another one that looks just like it So man, just when you're building one, just go with your mind, man. Whatever your first mindset gives you, just go with it. Try it. You need to try it, man. Don't be scared to make that move. If you don't make it, you won't know. This car was built by me. Well, not physically by me, but it was put together with my mindset. And I think it was pretty pretty good you know I like it I like everything about it um, we might do a couple changes in the future but as of now I think it's gonna stay like this because the car don't need it I mean yeah it's been done a couple years but it still looks good you know that's kind of like what I wanted it 
that's the route I wanted to take, you know, that to have this car six years later or whatnot and still be one of the hardest, you know, it's not played out, it's not a screaming color, it's just like a neutral color that it doesn't get boring, you know. Sometimes it looks like this, sometimes it looks like gold, gray, you never know. So, like I said, I'm happy with the outcome. Shout out to everyone that helped me with this build. It's been a long journey, but we made it happen. I mean, look at all them trophies. So don't let no one tell you you can't build something to your life, man. Don't build a car to fit in with everyone else. If you want to look different, you got to think different.